Hello. Hello, hello. Enjoy tasting. Thank you. Hello, hello. I have Gibby Fallon, right? Gibby Fallon? <laughs> <laughs> I didn't even have to say it. Yeah. That's actually, uh, you know you know how I got a job? Uh, sometimes I'll call up to the manager and told him my name was Slim Gibby Fallon. Oh, really? That's my thing, yeah. There are. Right, all I had to do was smile a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there was actually one one time last mm -hmm. week where three people told me that <laughs> the same day they stopped me and they're like, "Sir, <laughs> can you make any our borrow?" Absolutely. Yeah. 2020 Chardonnay. Yeah. Have you ever enjoyed uh, our wines before? Yeah, yeah. So you've tried our Sonoma Coast wines then? Long, long time ago. Now Alrighty. almost for good. Oh, this will be a good refresher here. Yeah. Absolutely. Cool climate keeps it citrusy and refreshing. Mm. Hope you enjoy. Let me know if you want any pictures taken. Sure. I tried the Instagram thing once. <laughs> hmm. facility just up down the hill here. So same property, of course. Um, this is known as the oval room here. If you want, let me show you in here. Um, they haven't seated yet, but they yeah. will be seating shortly. Yeah, sure. But if you want to take just a quick peek, yeah. this is our library. Mm. Very luxurious. Yes. Yes, indeed. Wow. And this is maybe actually them coming. Oh, no, they're going on the hike. Um, so yeah, really beautiful room. Yeah. It's like it's very vintage, vintage yeah. rooms. Only this, so oh, that's the... Yeah, so one bottle of every wine we've ever made from every vintage. Mm. Okay. Yeah. It's good. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. nice. <laughs> What's the, the other room? Yeah, the other side is, um, we call it the Great Hall, so just a little bit more seating when you need to come inside. Then we also have an educational room, so we offer seminar type tastings that go just a little bit more in depth. The winemaking process, things like that. So that happens in there, and then just a small retail area as well for merchandise. Beautiful. Yeah, we're pretty lucky here.
typical Napa wine because it's not from Napa. Okay. So the dining here you just do for private dining? A 2018 Napa Valley Cabernet Sauvignon. This is meant to be our example of what a Napa Valley wine should be. Yeah, this is really uh, the, the classic. The classic. I call taste. it I call it the gateway drug. The way <laughs> that we get you hooked on Joseph Phelps and coming back for more and hopefully buying insignia and all that stuff um, because the reason why we sell this wine for less than a third of the price of the Insignia, I think, is to get you into the door. Um, I think the price to quality for this wine is better than As much for you as well, sir. Do you want me to wait? Sure, <laughs> sure. <laughs> please, please. Okay. Uh, 2018 happens to be our best vintage of the last 10 years. Oh. So, you know, it's, it's debatable, but I think 18 good ripeness with some spice flavor that you don't normally get makes the wine even more complex and balanced. Uh, yeah, bro. So, Thank you. Yeah. This is definitely why people come here, but you know, our Bunga Strahl is a surprise, our wines from Sonoma Coast as well. So we make a lot more than this, but this is certainly what we make best. Thank you.
2018. Yeah. You can see right when you look at the label, this is something special that you're enjoying. And mm -hmm. so every year, what's something blend... special? I'm sorry? What's something special? Uh, this bottle, oh, okay. uh, Insignia. So it's always oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, the very best fruit that we have every year. And so it. Selected one. Is, is it selected or yes just, uh, so the, the way that it works every every block of every vineyard that we own in apple valley mm -hmm. we ferment separately and then our winemaker takes through uh, the wine and only the very best quality has the option to go into insignia it then receives two years in new french oak which is the most lavish treatment that we can give it and then we actually create the blend um, and vote on the best wine and that's what becomes our insignia that year. And very, what is it? Bold, very bold. Very bold, right? Mm. You can see Very bold, there. see? Absolutely. Very bold. Over bold. Thank you all for stopping yeah. by. Yeah. This one and Opus. This one and Opus, yeah. So Opus is a real bit of the more, they try to make more Bordeaux style. You probably know Robert, Robert Mondavi and the Rothschild family from Bordeaux made the wine. So their wine, if you even just look at it in the glass, it's lighter. It's meant to be a little bit more mineral, uh, whereas the insignia is a little bit more of older, darker style. Uh, so it just depends what you like. But I know that the Lava Valley Estate Ground. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you.